Hello, Leo. Welcome to Dove and Serpent Tarot. This is your weekly tarot forecast. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, especially if this reading resonates with you. And also go check out the other videos that may pertain to you for your sun, moon, or rising signs. I think that'll give you a much more dynamic picture of what is going on this week. And we've also been getting a lot of inquiries about personal or private readings. All of the information for those readings are down in the description box. So if you're interested, please go check that out. Okay, now we're going to get right into this reading for Leo and see what the situation is. We start out with that pesky Eight of Swords. Let's just lay out the rest of our Dove and Serpent spread. And uh, as you should know by now, this is going to include a mystery card, a bonus card, confirmation card. We're not going to look at that until the very end and just see how it might tie the reading together or give us the confirmation that we're looking for. All right, so stick around for that. Okay, so the first thing that I'm noticing is that we have this Eight of Swords with this Four of Discs. So I think in terms of your work situation or like your the way that you earn money, right, your physical kind of security, either your revenue or maybe directly the home or a combination of both, right? Something to do with finances or with, uh, you know, your bills or something of that nature. There's going to be some interference. There's going to be some sort of static or chaos, maybe missed communication. It could be um, a bill that you've mailed off kind of gets, gets lost in, in the mail or uh, some sort of communication that you've been waiting for or that you've been trying to make um, has just kind of gotten lost, misplaced, didn't arrive, got just vanished somewhere, right? There's something going on um, that is causing this kind of um, static or chaos, a little bit of a hectic kind of time with something related to your, your home or your bills or your work. It could be a miscommunication, a misunderstanding, something like that. I don't know that it's anyone really deliberately trying to interfere with, with things with you, although it could be deliberate. Let's find out a little bit more about this Queen of Swords here. This is the energy that's kind of the, the cause of all of this or kind of where this is originating from. And this is that older feminine energy, uh, an air sign, I believe. And it's something to do with this person that is causing this whatever kind of interference or static or it's actually upside down. Uh, whatever kind of static or interference or chaos or just like some crossed wires kind of thing going on where there's just something that should be easy. It should be like a natural flow either with this communication or with this thought process or with this interaction or with this flow of information, right? But there's something getting in the way of that. There's something that is just unnecessarily interfering, getting in the way of that. And it's something coming from this older feminine energy air sign. And it is going to be directly affecting your, let's say your livelihood, your either, you know, your bills or your house situation, your living situation or your work situation, something that directly affects you in that area of your life. Okay. And I see that what it's going to directly re like relate to you is going to be this five of discs energy. So this whole situation is going to give you some anxiety. It's going to give you a little bit of worry, especially since it has to do with your living situation, your work situation, your livelihood in general. Okay. And I'm not sure exactly where, but it's something to do with your livelihood. And that naturally, I think obviously is going to cause this five of discs uh, to have, and, and that's going to be that, that anxiety, right? That stress over this. It's going to be that worry. All right, but we're going to see what else might be going on. And I really think that things are going to work out okay, maybe better than okay, because we do have this Wheel of Fortune card. This is at the top. This is kind of casting a light on the entire spread, saying, um, you know, you have this situation going on, at least in the path of the dove here, because that's where we're at now. You have this whole situation going on here, but things are going to be okay. It's going to work out in the end. Uh, it, everything is going to unravel itself and come together and, and just be fine. All right. You're going to do what needs to be done. You're going to take care of things and it's all going to be sorted out. So really no, no need to worry because you have this, this energy on the whole thing, this wheel of fortune, this, it's going to work out. 
okay? But nevertheless, you have this anxiety, and I think that's a natural kind of state to be in when something like this is going on. And again, I don't know who this person is. Um, again, I think that they're that older feminine energy air sign, but it could, maybe not an air sign, but it could be someone who is just kind of prone to interfering, likes to be kind of nosy, likes to kind of butt in where they're not really needed or required or wanted in the situation. So it could be that sort of a person, but they could just straight up be an air sign. Um, down here at the bottom, we see a seven of cups, and this is related to your, your underlying tendencies, habits, your kind of what's going on beneath the surface with you. And I think this is kind of a, a frustration or just like being fed up with the entire, this entire situation, whatever. Maybe you already know who this air sign is. And maybe it's something where the relationship with that person has already been kind of soured. It's already spoiled. It's already on its way out, kind of deteriorating, as we can see with the Seven of Cups here. So it could be that you already know this person. And the fact that they are somehow interfering with your livelihood maybe doesn't come as much of a surprise. But it's still going to cause some anxiety because now you have to fix it. Now you have to undo whatever they've done. Okay. Um, and so this card could be indicating that you already know this person and you already have either a suspicion about them or a dislike for them or the relationship. You're just, you're not quite sure about them. Maybe you're, you're, you don't know if they're a good person. You don't know if you should watch out for them. So this is kind of the vibe that I'm getting from the seven of cups here, but we're going to move on now to the path of the serpent and see if we can get a little bit more insight into what the situation might be. To just kind of recap, I think with this Wheel of Fortune card up here, things are gonna work out. You're gonna be able to kind of turn the ship around and get things back on track, all right? So it's gonna cause some worry. It's gonna be a headache probably, but it's, I don't think it's gonna be much more than that. Uh, I think the main concern really is your relationship with this person and, and how and why and in what manner they are, they're interfering with, with this, with your, your livelihood, we're calling it. Anyway, moving on to the path of the serpent now, I, I feel like you are in this high priestess kind of mode where you are learning to trust your gut, you're learning to trust your intuition, um, you're learning to just kind of like open yourself up and receive the information that you need. So in that kind of sense, I do think that you had already this suspicion about this air sign, uh, older feminine energy. I think you already kind of knew something weird was going on there or there was something kind of not quite right about that person or about their vibe or their energy, right? Because I feel like maybe you've been kind of receiving those signals. You've been subtly getting those clues and maybe you've just not really acted on it because you, you haven't fully trusted yourself. But with this high priestess, I, I definitely think you're going in that direction where you're learning to trust yourself. And I think through a situation like this, where when it finally happens, you're going to just be like, damn it, I knew it. I should have done something. I knew it. And be, it's because you had that kind of insight. You had that, that intuition. You saw the signals and the signs, but you didn't quite trust yourself. And now you've got to clear out this mess and it's a headache, but it's going to be all right. But it's just, it's a hassle, right? In terms of your relationships with other people, I think this six of wands really does say it all. You have a lot of trust for people. I think it's your natural tendency to give people the benefit of the doubt. And so when you have this intuition, these signs, this kind of insight that something ain't right with this person, there's something going on there. I think you want to give people the benefit of the doubt and your default is to trust them and just to assume that your own feelings are incorrect right? To assume that your gut feelings or your intuition is wrong and you give people that trust, you know, and sometimes giving people too much trust is going to come back and bite us in the ass, which I think is kind of what's going on here. At least it's not in a major, major way. At least there's no real destruction here. There's no tower card. There's nothing like that. There's no death card. So um, I think it's a minor headache. I think you're going to be able to resolve it quite quickly and, and easily. It's just a hassle. But maybe the bigger picture here is that you're learning to trust your gut a little bit more. You're learning the extent to which you should trust people. And you're going to be instead trusting yourself instead of get always giving people the benefit of the doubt. I mean, I agree we should do that. We should have a lot of this six of wands energy about us, in my opinion. But too much of that, again, is going to bite us in the ass. So having 
more trust in yourself and in just that intuitive knowledge that you sometimes get, that sixth sense that you feel about people, trust that a little bit more and you can avoid these kinds of headaches, okay? Um, I think one of the kind of obvious concerns, worries, one of the factors that are gonna be weighing on your mind this week is damn it, now I've gotta do all this work to kind of fix whatever that issue was that they created. So this is you really just kind of doing the legwork to resolve this situation. I don't think you're gonna be able to go back to this person and say, look, you broke it, you fix it. Um, I think it's gonna be something that you're gonna to have to now take the extra time and effort to fix whatever, whatever they've done. If it's a miscommunication, if it's something got lost or misfiled, whatever the interference is, you're gonna to have to do the work to really to solve it, to fix it, right? To get things back to, uh, to normal. Um, the good news is too that we have Mercury here. We got the juggler, this is the magician, uh, the Magus card. This is saying that, look, you've got, well, first of all, you've got this good fortune. You've got this kind of destiny on your side, right? Destiny, fate, good fortune, luck, whatever you want to call it. You've got this connection with your subtle psychic abilities, you know, with this intuition, these gut feelings, these, this awareness that you're developing in yourself. And now you have this Mercury energy too, and this is about expressing your will out into the world. This is you creating the reality that you want. This is you utilizing all of the elements in the external world, all of the tools, all of the, you know, all of the material at your disposal. You're able to utilize everything, your own energies, your own skills and talents to direct the course of events, to direct your life and the development of you and your situation. Okay, so this Mercury here is really about expressing your will out into the world and having, you know, having the, the capability to back that up. You know, you're talking the talk, but you're also gonna walk the walk and it's gonna be whatever, whatever you desire, whatever your will is. And so I think that this, fixing this situation and, and moving forward and learning from this and kind of directing the flow of things into the future is going to come quite easily to you. I think it's one of these situations where whatever you put your mind to, you tend to be able to accomplish it, and it doesn't seem to really be that difficult for you. With Mercury, it really, it's really just this natural kind of flow, right? It's just like you instinctively know what to do, how to do things, how to be successful, and and there doesn't seem to be a lot of second guessing or self doubt. It just seems to really be flowing out of you. And so I think that, you know, it's a good lesson in this situation on the path of the dove. I think this was a good lesson for you to just to learn to trust yourself more and learn to really tap into this Mercury flow, this Magus magician flow to create your world and to direct your life and to kind of direct the course of events so that it is more in line with your will, your wishes, your plans, right? Your efforts, your design kind of. Uh, so I think it's, you know, I, I think this is gonna be a headache. I think it's gonna be a hassle, but I don't think it's gonna be all that damaging, all that serious. I think it's really a lesson for you. I think it's really something that you can learn from so that you can trust yourself more, maybe trust other people a little bit less, not, you know, don't, don't go overboard, but just have a little bit more trust in yourself than you do for everybody else in general, right? Um, and then you're going to do the hard work and you're going to have the opportunity to really direct your life and to get that flow going again. So this is just, it's a temporary setback, I think. And we're going to take a look at this confirmation card and see if this gives us any other clues or insights or details. And this is the lover's card. So this is, this is interesting because as much as you have your suspicions about this person, there's something weird about them, there's something not quite right, something that's a little suspicious maybe that you've, you've had that intuitive knowledge about, but you're this, you know, you're a very trusting person. You give people the benefit of the doubts. You don't want to assume the worst in people. You want to, you want to believe that people are generally good and that they deserve trust and opportunity and, and faith, right? Um, 
And then we've got the lover's card here. So the lover's card really is, you know, it's almost as if this person has, has done this thing. And it may not have been intentional. It could have been as well, on the other hand. Whatever the situation was, though, I think you're going to forgive them. I think that you're going to really embrace them. And, you know, like my first instinct would be to cut that person off, right? Just get rid of them. Just, you know, give them, you know, a few harsh words and be done with them. I think you're going to go the other route. I think you're going to just really embrace them, forgive them, and maybe give them another opportunity, give them another chance, and still put that trust in them. Right? I don't think that you're going to be losing any of this faith or trust in other people. Instead, I think you're going to use this maybe as an opportunity to establish a closer bond with that person. And again, this person, it could be someone you know already. It could be you know, a friend, family member, co-worker, uh, you know, a schoolmate, whatever the situation is. Um, I think you're going to find that instead of wanting to reject that person, you're going to want to forgive them and bring them closer and establish more of a bond th through this situation, which again, to me, kind of comes as a surprise because I know what I would probably do is just get rid of that person. Like just harsh words, cut them off and be done, right? And then try to fix all of this and grumble along the entire way, but not you, no. I think you're going to embrace the person with a lot of love, a lot of forgiveness. I still think this is going to be that learning experience, however, where you uh, will, in the future, next time, if there is a next time, you will uh, listen to your gut, listen to your instincts, your intuition, and you're going to make the decision that you need to make. So with the lover's card here, this is about union and embrace and, and connection and bond. It's also about making the right decisions. Okay, so this card is... Uh, one, I think you're choosing love in this situation over anger and hate and rejection. You're choosing love, okay? But you're also choosing in the future, you're, go you're going to choose the right path to avoid this kind of mistake. You're not going to let somebody do this to you again or make the same mistake twice, right? So if this situation were to come up again, I think you still have that ability to trust your instinct and do the right thing and stop this from happening, get rid of that person, cut them off, prevent the damage, prevent this whole situation from happening again, right? So this card really is about choice. And I think you have the capability to choose, to choose the right thing in the moment, okay? And like I said, I think you're choosing love in this instance here today or this week. Uh, you're choosing love and, and positive vibes rather than the negative, the anger, and the harsh words, and the you know the cutting people off and the rejection. I think you're you're trying to uh, choose a better way this time. Next time, different story. We're going to explore this a little bit more in the extended version. Uh, you can become a member of this channel by hitting the link down in the description box, uh, and I do encourage you to do that. We're we're really building up a lot of this extended content. Um, Thank you so much for letting me read for you today, Leo. This was your weekly tarot forecast here on Dove and Serpent Tarot.